research says the data clearly shows that low income and minorities who live in Glendale and Rose Park are being significantly impacted by the virus. Now, the rate of positive cases in those neighborhoods was 10 times higher than higher income neighborhoods like Sandy and Draper. Researchers point to several barriers facing people in Glendale and Rose Park. Most are essential workers who don't have the option of staying home. Their access to health care and food is limited. Now, we spoke to Representative Angela Romero, who lives in the heart of Glendale. She says COVID-19 testing needs to be ramped up to protect these vulnerable communities. You know, I'm right now in a public space, so I've masked up. And so until people mask up and practice social distancing for people that can, it's going to be difficult. Many people in the Glendale, the Rose Park, and some of our hotspots are able to do that just due to the disparities that existed before COVID-19. And so COVID-19 is just exposed that. The study also found that the air quality improved more on the east side of Salt Lake County than the west side, since wealthier people had the option to work from home. Romero says that she is working with other lawmakers to enact policies that will address these shortfalls so that families can recover. In Salt Lake City, Tamara Vifanua, Fox 13 News, Utah.